And this lesson, we want to take a look at store creation. So when you go over to stores, you can either click on new to create a new store. But by default, you have a, a store that was created when you install this extension. So let's click on the, you know, this particular store. And you see the name, you can put the name here and you can choose the owner for the store. So if you if you want to create a store for someone else and assign this store to someone, you can definitely do that. This right now is the owner, which is set to the super user by default. So if I were to click here, this is going to list all the members of the site. And if I wanted to assign a store for someone else, then I can just easily just, you know, click on their name and it is going to assign, the, you know, the store to the person. So for this part, it's going to ask you to put in a description, you know, for the store. So once you put in your description, you can put in your company's name. You can put in their email, you can put in their address, and then you want to put in their contact number. So it's always good to have a contact number in case they want to contact you know you for something. And then here you have the option to put in a store logo. So each store can be brand branded with its own unique logo. So what I'm going to do is, you know, you can upload your logo. You want to make sure that 124 by 124, this is the best way to do it. And with the store contact, you would just want to make sure you put just numbers so you don't want to put any dashes or anything like that. So I have Photoshop here and you can use any editing software, you know, photo editing software. You want to make sure that you set the dimensions to 124 by 124 pixels. And I'm just going to call this Amazon store. OK, since I have this Amazon logo here. What I'm just going to do is I can just edit it or I can just drag and drop it to, you know, and then just resize it. So I'm just going to change this. So change that and then OK. So I'm going to grab this image. Make sure that the dimensions are 124 by 124. So here's the image that I created. You can use an editing software to edit your images. But this one, the dimensions are 124. That's the recommended size. And then for the payout mode, you have the option of choosing PayPal or other. And this are based on the settings on the back end. So if you want to have just PayPal, then you want to make sure that for the settings, you don't you don't enable anything else but PayPal. And then you put in your PayPal email address and then you want to click on save and close. So when you open this page now on the back end, this is what it looks like, you know, with the logo. And then you just click on save and close. You know, that's really cool that each store can have their own logo, which allow them to, you know, create different brands and, and brand their products. Okay, so you created that store. You can add as many stores as you need to. But since this store is here by default, we just left that. And let's move on to the next lesson.